a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife and the two will become one flesh and we just pray right now as they start life together they build a family together you are at the center of this home and you will be elevated in jesus name amen Andy, you're the most beautiful thing that's happened to me. You're my best friend and partner in crime. The one thing that I really adore about you is your caring personality. You're always there for me throughout any ups or downs. Hannah, from the first picture I saw of you, thousands of miles away in another country, I could feel that there could be something special between us. Some of your qualities, besides being so beautiful, is that you're hardworking, caring, thoughtful, ambitious and loyal. Today on the 20th of July, we get to celebrate what God has done in our lives and I look forward to celebrating so many beautiful memories with you. I love you, Hannah. This week has been an amazing week. We've been celebrating quite a bit. We've had a lot of celebrations, haven't we? Lots of food, lots of dancing, lots of party. And it just got me thinking about how much, how much God must enjoy watching us celebrate. How much God must enjoy watching you guys come together and celebrate and enjoy each other. Someone who cares for me constantly despite being so far apart. You've always been there for me throughout all difficult times. You've been my strength. Today and forever, I give you my heart, my soul and my trust. I see these vows not as promises, but as privileges. I get to laugh with you and cry with you, care for you and share with you. I get to run with you and walk with you, build with you and live with you. To my parents, two very hard-working and caring parents who have championed me through life, I can't thank you enough for everything you've given me and Hannah. 